The blue water tower and factory you see sit just across the Missouri-Kansas state line. About one mile east of that is this intersection, West 32nd and South John Duffy Road. And just a few feet from here is where the storm damage begins of what eventually became the devastating EF5 tornado that hit Joplin. This tree is one of the first to be snapped as the tornadic winds were just setting up in western Joplin. Off in the distance, the first power pole is toppled. At first, still going along West 32nd, we start to see a little bit of damage here, a few trees, the power lines are down here right alongside the road. West 32nd Street toward Joplin heading east, we see smaller trees become larger trees, so toppled and shredded, more and more structural damage, first just poles and roofs and then the entire roof is gone. Power lines across the roads. And instead of just one home here and one home there, many homes, if not all homes, damaged at least in some way. Now at the corner of West 32nd and Schiffer Decker Road, still about one mile west of where St. John's is. All of these homes have some type of structural damage, but they're still standing. Most of the trees have been snapped off in half and many are blown over. This is still the tornado ramping up to its full potential and still west of most of the damage we've been showing you all week. We still haven't made it to the, what I would call the heart of Joplin, but the damage is just picking up. Larger things are destroyed, bigger trees, more pieces of homes are off and in the wrong spots. Starting to see larger structures damaged in a heavier way. The Thousand Oaks building has uh, parts of the building ripped off. Now, across the hill, and there's St. John's. Of all the images that you will see from the Joplin tornado, you'll probably remember St. John's Hospital the most. It has sustained a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, nearly every window from my vantage point is blown out, and parts of the building are quite literally ripped off. There's really no other way to describe the damage that you see other than trying to relate it to pictures of a bomb blast from Hollywood or, or from uh, atomic bomb testing images that you've seen. There's cars on their sides, many of them flipped over several times, metal beams that are pushed and bent. Eventually you see the the magnitude of this, it's not just one road, it's many roads, it's not just one block, but many blocks. And the trees that you can tell that once covered Fair City of Joplin are now completely gone. No greenery sticks up above the grass. One video we found on YouTube uh, rolls for about five minutes in time. And during that entire time, you can see the magnitude or the, the sheer power of the wind ramping up and increasing. And this is the hell that it left behind. Just nothing. Pure destruction. An eraser to the earth as we know it. There's mountains of debris. And it goes for blocks and blocks. Some of the piles that we see today have been pushed off the roadway to the side, but most of what we see is in its original place, only semi-picked through and sorted through as people try to save their lives. Demolish uh, structures that are now dangerously dangling across parts of the city. We've already seen signs of people rebuilding, trusses going up, plywood being braced in, uh, signs of recovery starting even within a week of the destruction. Very little is recognizable anymore. Uh, what have been clear landmarks for Joplin, gone. The street sign, of course, are, are long gone. But the landmarks for restaurants, pool halls, bars, places people frequent, even the grocery stores, are literally wiped off the map. The workers continue to, to adjust gas fittings and repair power poles. But from my seat, it still looks like this is a very dangerous situation. Occasionally we're smelling the uh, natural gas and we're driving over power lines. Nothing about this looks or even feels safe.
seems like every corner has a stash of water bottles sitting at it. Someone's directing traffic. All the lights are out in this part of town. Occasionally somebody walks up and gives a Red Cross or another volunteer a hug. Spray painted signs on the sides of houses saying, God bless everyone. There's Joplin High School, perhaps a, a place where the worst could have happened but didn't. And a flag flying at half staff. Every splinter, every brick, every piece of glass, everything that is on the ground went into what we were calling the debris ball on Storm Tracker 3 Live Doppler Radar on Sunday night. Every piece of this was airborne at some point, being peeled off, ripped off, shredded, broken, twisted, and mangled into the air. Just over the hill is Joplin High School, and that brings us to East 20th and Range Line Road. This puts us in the heart of some of the biggest business district parts of Joplin here. Your big box stores are here, your Walmart, your Home Depot, Academy Sports is seen over there. Folks getting free food right there in the parking lot. Uh, you go a little bit farther east and you're into the residential district again, but no matter which direction you look, snap trees. No leaves on the trees, destruction in every single direction you go. Everything has sustained major damage right here in this part of Joplin.